Hello, open stage! How are you guys doing? Yeah? Memorial weekend, lots of fun. I went out and I went to the Perot Museum. You know that mu new museum? Has anybody went to it? It's really, really fun stuff. I love like the dinosaur stuff. And I was just in awe of like the big T-Rex uh, skeleton. And what I learned about the T-Rex is that the closest relative to it is the chicken. I mean, that's, that's some fucking karma right there. <laughs> Because I feel like the T-Rex was probably an asshole. I feel like all the dinosaurs were like, oh, don't talk to TR. TR's an asshole. Last year I was just eating some leaves, minding my own business. He came up and spit in my damn eye. He's a dick. He'll run around, tell everybody all your business. And if you got a problem with it, he'll eat your ass. He's a nasty motherfucker. But through karma and evolution, out comes the chicken, the most miserable, mass-eaten animal ever. How does the chicken feel about this? I want to know. Is he just like, hey, here's my business card, the chicken. Don't know if you know this about me, but uh, used to be the T-Rex. Yeah, kind of a big deal. But now I'm the chicken. I suck. You know, it's hard working on the farm. I'm constantly chafing. I do dumb stuff like eat rocks all day. My neck looks like a vagina. It's just not a good look for me. <laughs> but anyway, here's my card. You got my number. If you're interested in this, maybe you want some of my eggs. <laughs> One of my legs. <laughs> a breast. You know where to find me chicken. Everyone eats chicken. I had a Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Those things are fucking good. What's crazy is like you can make dinner these days like in five seconds and I'm so impatient. I think technology is ruining me. I really do. I, you know, I don't remember the last time I cooked something. I'm like, I have a microwave. Why would I cook? You know, when there was pioneers back in the day, if a dude was hungry, he was like, oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to go out and shoot a rabbit in the face and then bring it back and then skin it and take the meat off the bones and then boil it for a couple of hours and then around. I don't know why I'm looking at my watch right now. We didn't have watches back then. <laughs> Probably around 4.30 a.m. If I'm still hungry, I'm just gonna have a little bit of that soup. And then there's me who takes the Marie Callender's pot pie out of the freezer and I'm like, a minute and 30 seconds? Are you fucking kidding me, Marie Callender? I don't know what kind of lavish life you be living, Marie, but I don't got time for this shit. I was in um, a department store the other day and I heard that country song that's like, God must disband a little more time on you. That's such a, is that really how that works? This is my cousin wife, Becky. She's got all her teeth and she smells really, really pretty. Her biscuits are really, really nice. But our son, Critter, He's in the back right now eating Katie litter. <laughs> I don't know how long God spent on him. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like if God spent time on things like, if that's factual, you know, like, there are some really beautiful things that I think he spent a lot of time on, like orchids and peacocks, the sun, the ocean, penises. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> And maybe there's some things that maybe he didn't spend a lot of time on, like the manatee. <laughs> Poor manatee. <laughs> it sounds like you guys are like friends with some manatees, but like don't talk about manatee like that. <laughs> I think God probably made the manatee towards the end when he's like tired and over it and I'm out of, he's out of material to make it. He's like, all right, fine, I gotta make manatee have to make them. What do I have left? I have some flippers, some fins, some human teeth, cat whiskers. What's this? A leftover donut? Perfect. Here's the manatee. <laughs> Let me just throw it in the ocean. That way it can just float around like a big dumb idiot. <laughs> they call it the sea cow. That is a lie. It is the hot dog of the ocean. <laughs> leftover parts. <laughs> I feel like all aquatic life is like, oh, don't invite manatee to a party. He cannot hold his liquor. He's like a really bad alcoholic. 
I feel like all the ocean is just like if on all the ocean if there's like a house party manatee was like the guy that was like the obnoxious guy at the party like way too drunk like who's got a cigarette <laughs> I only smoke when I drink <laughs> hey nice blowhole <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Shamu's here. <laughs> hey, Shamu, why don't you come here and show me all them tricks you be doing for everybody? <laughs> uh, homo! <laughs> Anyways, I think I was molested by a great white when I was young. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Just a small town manatee. <laughs> Living in a lonely ocean. <laughs> Hey, who the hell turned this song off? <laughs> I feel like a manatee lately. I've gained a lot of weight the last year. I've gained like 40 pounds. I don't even know how the hell I did that. I wish there was like a competition. Like who can gain the most weight in the shortest period of time? And like, but I'm, I'm still trying to like date and I'm trying to do like the whole online thing. And I struggle to like fill out the questionnaire. I'm like, what do I say right now about this in the spot that this is in? It's like about me. Fat guy with skinny white girl problems. <laughs> you get the best of both worlds or worst of both worlds. <laughs> or uh, hobbies, grazing, <laughs> lounging. Pretending to talk on the phone while going through the drive-thru so the people at Taco Cabana think I'm ordering food for more than one person. <laughs> Physical appearance, built like a sweet potato. <laughs> got milk? I don't, but I've got man titties. <laughs> Do you like tires? Great, then let's get things rolling. <laughs> or, um, what else is on those things? <laughs> um, let me see this. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's hard being like a, a gay man whenever you're, because I think that other, like, not not you guys, because you guys are really cool. But like a lot of like when you go to like Cedar Springs and stuff, like I mean, I think that they look at you differently a little bit when you're not like, you know, like built and like perfect and stuff. And Dallas is a little bit different. They are like um I think like sometimes people can be a little bit passive aggressive out there. I'm like, we only got one street and like only certain amount of people. And um, you know, like Dallas, they're just like, uh oh, shit. Move, Cal. You almost made me spill my apple teeny. But then I was in LA recently, and if you're not perfect, like they're just they just act confused by you. They're just like, Chris, what the hell is that? <laughs> Derek, I have no effing clue. <laughs> Wait, I think I saw this on TV. I think it's like one of those southern gays. <laughs> I heard that those eat out of the palm of your hand. <laughs> what do they eat? Carbohydrates. What's that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go to the salad bar. Give me some croutons. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Oh, what's that? Oh, croutons! <laughs> um, my mom's funny. She's always trying to make me feel like better about myself. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting fat, mom. And she's like, you don't worry about that at all. You're gorgeous. You know what? You look like Elvis. Thanks, Mom. Elvis died fat on the toilet eating a peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter banana sandwich. Thank you. Um, and I don't, I don't know. Like, I went to the doctors, and he's like, you should lose a little bit of weight. You have high blood pressure. And I made the mistake of telling my mom this. She's, uh, she's really neurotic about, like, trying to help me stay, like, like, healthy. And she wants me to, lose, like, lose weight and stuff. But she's also Italian, and she's also, like, obsessed with, like, feeding me all the time. 
It makes no sense at all. That's like trying to like grow a plant and feeding it pine salt. Like, <laughs> it's not good. But like, she's just crazy about it. She's like Joan Crawford. <laughs> Cody, you need to lose weight. <laughs> and don't get up from that table until you finish that tiramisu. <laughs> I refuse to have my son walk the streets like some obeser. So why don't you come inside and have some of that baked ravioli? <laughs> what is this? Cracker Jack box poison? Or, Cody, no more whoopie pies. <laughs> I told you when you want to eat something, you have my homemade lasagna and baked garlic bread. All right, that's my time. Thanks, guys.